What I want to talk about is the, the role that Landcorp is playing, so it's a little bit of an editorial. Uh, again, we can't do it without a, a lot of support from stakeholders. Uh, again, there are a lot of opportunities. Traditionally, uh, we've been a land developer, but as this slide says, increasingly we're becoming a land facilitator. Uh, so I don't think anyone wants a, a monopoly land uh, supply through government. They much prefer to have the choice to be able to go out to a range of private developers uh, and to be able to choose whether it's a different housing product, land product, uh, whatever it is, in the industrial, commercial, residential or tourism spheres. You don't need to be able to just go into the Landcorp shop uh, and be given a limited choice. We've had to take a, a very flexible approach. So a lot of it's about partnering uh, with the private developers, trying to de-risk to a degree for them, and partnering is a way of de-risking and <laughs> helping them to make a decision to move into the Pilbara. Uh, but we don't say, well, if you want to partner with Landcorp, there's one way to do it. We say, look, these are different ways, and if you've got even, even further different ways, uh, we'd love to entertain them, uh, because it's all about doing whatever's required to achieve the outcome. Pilbara Cities was only announced less than two years ago. Yeah, it can seem like it's a lot, lot longer ago. Um, a lot has happened, a, a massive amount. So when you look at what's been achieved in the Pilbara in less than two years, uh, I think any independent observer uh, would be absolutely staggered. The really strong success factor, I think, is uh, the number of private development partners who take up, taken up the challenge. First Town Centre Commercial Development by Humphrey Developments, uh, a mix of medium density housing, retail, commercial, a 1.2 hectare site in, right in the town centre. Uh, Mervac have also have been appointed, finally, following completion of dust studies and all the rest of it, uh, to build a 178-room Siebel-style hotel right on the waterfront, so Headland can capitalise on its waterfront location, uh, as well as uh, 44 service departments, another 80 dwellings. Uh, and that's only the tip of the iceberg. So there is an appetite from major industrial and minor industrial players to get into Karatha, and Headland, and what that's going to do is exacerbate the accommodation needs because all of those workers who come in will need, need accommodation, uh, but it is all part of uh, growing uh, the Pilbara cities. That development of South Headland has some 77 million of, of government funding gone into the town centre revitalisation. Uh, you're going to get a lot of news coming out of South Headland. If you've looked around, you'll see this fantastic upgrade of, of the town centre, the main street, uh, town square. Uh, Gathering places, um, interactive sculptures, water jets, places to relax, places for the community to gather. Uh, and we're also working on about another 80 hectares of residential land adjoining the town centre, 750 dwellings, and the Department of Housing have land for about another 1,000 dwellings, and through their new living program are doing a lot of stuff as well. The key element uh, for Port Hedland is the waterfront. There's a major redevelopment precinct happening at that part of Port Hedland. Uh, pretty cool, we've got 350 houses. East Port Headland, uh, we're looking at 400 hectares freed up from the wastewater treatment plant. It is similarly going to provide a lot of land for Port Headland, but South Headland is where most of that land supply is going to be coming. So in conclusion, there's a lot happening in the northwest. As I said at the outset and keep repeating, it's a, it's a great time to be here. The mood is, is really good, the level of cooperation is great. Uh, it does need a lot of cooperation, determination, goodwill. There will be the inevitable challenges. We've got some 25 project managers at Landcorp focus on the Pilbara and they're a generally pretty young, enthusiastic, highly motivated group and they are all about making a difference. They understand it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. We are delivering on, on Pilbara cities. Uh, we have got the capacity, we're augmenting that capacity and we're definitely on track. Thanks very much.